So this is what we do. Grab a little bit of a screen here. Make sure it's the right length. It's not. So put it back. Lay it on the bed to make sure it fits. This isn't long enough either. Grab this screen. Now we lay it across the screen that we're making. I need a knife. Look at this. This is the thing that I got from the, um, what's it called? The dumpster. Yeah. It's a little knife. So when you squeeze it, it opens. Right. Just cut this. Now we've got our screen here. Put this back on lock. All right, look at that. We've got our screen here. This is our frame. It's a little too short, so we need to make it longer. Now that we've got this screen, we'll set this aside. Let's take out the wires. All right, so now the screen comes out. And then the little things that hold these together, you just pull and they come out like that. Toss these guys. Well, actually, no. Got frame now. We're gonna need two of those. This, I don't think it's gonna be long enough. Maybe it is. Oh, that might be just right. Or that's the same exact one. That's the same exact one. So that's not gonna do it. Nope. Why did all these the same one? Gosh damn. Looks like potential. guys because they were the ones that were in the box. That's what we need. Iron it up here. Safety glasses. Now we're gonna cut this. Alright, now we know that works. It's tight. It's locked or something. get back to you because it's stuck. I figured it out. There's a little switch. Tug on. Do a little yank. And uh, once I did that, it unlocked. I'll show you. So it's down like here and you twist this and it's stuck, right? But then you untwist this. That. So we've got our markings. We have our heading. A little bit. Side of it. That should be good. Alright, these are a bit longer now. So now we can connect these like that. Like this. Bob's your uncle. Now, we get our screen here. You're done. Alright, so for this, what we need to do is line it up. I'll take my little knife here. And so you get thick stuff. This, this guy. You slide it in these little holes, right? Bring you in a little closer. So what we do here is there's these little grooves. So while the screen is there, we put this little wire bit inside of it, right? Like this. And grab this roller. And then, once you shove it in, you can roll it. And this just basically applies enough pressure for it to sit inside the frame. But you gotta make sure you have 
it lined up or else it's not gonna be sitting in there enough and then the, the screen can pop out. You take your little knife and you cut the excess off at the end. There you go. And then you go back through. Just make sure it's all tucked in there real tight and neat. I like to give it another pass through like this. And now that one is secured and in there. Actually, we'll just leave it here and I'll just move you. All right, so now you know the intricate process of what I do. I'll show you the little bit sped up version. And it's always good for it to be too long. You just don't want it to be too short, like I just cut it. You always want it to be long. If it's long, you can always cut it shorter. If it's short, you can't make it longer. So. Because for this next part, I'm cutting, I'm going to cut the excess screen off. And you want to make sure that the screen is tight enough because when you cut the excess screen off, you can't adjust it anymore. the crucial stage because if you mess up here it you have to like start over with the screen and everything because if you mess up cutting the screen then it loses its like stiffness and elasticity and you don't have enough screen to like adjust it anymore so you really have to make sure when you're cutting the screen you got to be very articulate because this is where everything could get messed up and you got to start all over so you got to be careful here this is why I'm taking so long this is basically what I'm saying this is the most crucial step in the whole process because at any other point in time during the process you can start you can stop and start over but this if you mess up here you got to start from back from square one because you got to rescreen the whole thing luckily I'm amazing look at that perfect so now we're gonna go deliver this and then plug it back in and then uh, that'll be it for this one sticking around and that's how you do it by the way the reason why it sticks up like this I know you're curious this doesn't look like it would fit in like a normal screen huh because it's like all bent and wonky like that but that's just because of the tightness on one side as opposed to the other but it evens out and it gets flat so yeah when you put it into the frame it stays so, anyways that's it hope you liked it and you enjoyed see you later